so I am back to my old <laughs> recording space. Um, the reason why I was recording over there is because I didn't want people walking in and out of the videos. I thought that it was just very distracting, but I like recording here, so if you guys don't like this space, just let me know and I'll move somewhere else, but I'm very comfortable recording here because it's in front of you know a very wide space and stuff like that so yeah just let me know what you guys think and I think that the lighting is way way better here um, I've adjusted the lighting so that you can see almost everything and yeah I really like the lighting the only thing I don't like is when I look back at the video and I see like countertops in my refrigerator here so that's the only thing that I don't like about this space but other than that I think that it's convenient for recording videos and everything like that so yeah Anyways, on to the title of the video, I have discovered how to make kind of like ombre nails. Um, so this is what my nails look like right now. Um, I've always wanted to learn how to do this to my nails, but I never like knew how to do it or whatever. This is super, super, super easy. So these are just kind of like the colors that I picked because I've been really, really loving watermelons right now. And seeing as though I have the two colors for the watermelons from doing my paddles and stuff, I thought that this was great. And um, yeah, so basically the three things you're going to need is your paint and um, these are just the paint that I had on hand. You can get these at Walmart. You can get them in the smaller bottles. These are just the big bottles. And I got the big bottles because I made a really, really huge paddle. And you can also get the brush. This brush is the Princeton Art and Brush Company. And this is the number two fan brush. So that's what it looks like. It just looks like a basic fan brush. But it is really, really small. Like, compared to my nails, it's just about you know the right size for my nail so this is what the artists use for gradients for artwork because the bristles are really really soft and they're really stiff and it's just a really really good brush for like you know multi-purposing stuff I'm really really liking how this came out with this brush make sure that you raise subscribe and comment if you do like this video and let me know how you like this nail tutorial and let me know if you have any nail tutorials that are easy like this that I could do just leave video requests out I hope you guys all enjoyed the video and let's get started okay so besides the products I've already talked about you're going to need a piece of paper just to put down your items and make sure that you don't get any paint anywhere and I've already done my right side so let's see how we're going to do on my left side so I already have a base coat down from beforehand this is just like an OPI polish I'll put the name somewhere in the video and I'll link it down below the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your two paints and these I just got from Walmart they are acrylic paint um, basically acrylic paint is used for all-purpose surfaces and it dries really really fast yeah. so you're just going to take any paints that you want you don't have to use pink and green but um, since this is a watermelon kind of theme, I'm going to be using pink and green. So first you're going to do is you're going to make a small dot of your first paint and then do the same almost directly right next to it. Okay, and don't be scared if you, um, if the colors start like touching like these are because that's exactly what you want to do. Then you're going to take your fan brush and basically what you're going to do is pat it directly onto the color. After you put it on there, just swipe it and get the gradient that you want with your nails. And after you get that gradient, you can start painting. But basically what you're going to do is just paint. So just, you know, just paint your nail. Make sure that you get it from corner to corner. And don't be afraid to get it onto your skin because we're just going to clean that up later. And if you want... You can put scotch tape down so it doesn't get all over like I'm doing right now. Okay, so after that, your nail should look something like this. As you can see for these nails, they're not all the same gradient. So if you want to do the same gradient as this, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to flip my brush so that the, the green is on the tip of my finger and the pink is at the base of my finger. And I'm just going to paint it that way.
Okay, so my paper is all full of gradients. Okay, so this is what your hand is going to look like after you finish painting your whole nails and fingers, as you can see. It's going to look pretty, pretty crazy at first, but I'm going to clean that up with some nail polish remover and some Q-tips at first. I mean, not Q-tips. What are these called? Cotton balls. Some cotton balls for my fingers. Okay, so this is what your nails are going to look like after they are clean. So now I'm just going to put our top coat on and I have the Nailing Acrylic Strong top coat um, from Nailing. So I'm just going to put that all over my nails and when you're doing this, try to not touch the brush of the top coat onto the nails. Just kind of like dip the product on to the nail and then like spread it lightly because it does smear quite easily. that is it for your watermelon nails this is what the nails look like okay so these are what the nails look like after they are finished they are really really cute i really like them and i'm very proud that i did them myself so yeah let me know if you guys like these nails and i will see you guys in my next video okay, bye bye